one of the common problems with the 9.3 is that the shifter cover on the automatic, the paint starts to peel off after a while and flake. And um, you can buy a new one from, I think it's sobparts.com, but it's over $100 for this little plastic cover. And then um, you still have to remove this cover piece and it can be a pain. So what I did was I actually went to a fabric store or a craft store and I bought a section of um, faux leather. This is just a got a fabric backing and then it's um, a vinyl that looks like leather and I traced out this shape with a piece of paper which I'll show you how to do that and then I cut the outline of the shift pattern and then used a soldering iron to melt holes through so I could see which gear I was in. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to be able to trace this outline of this shape. So you can use a piece of paper right here. And what you need to do is you need to actually just cut a a hole just big enough so it'll fit over this uh, shifter knob. So I'm kind of making a cross shape here. And then we want to take this and slide it over the shifter. I tear it a little bit. It's okay. So you want to just spread it out like that. And then the goal is you want to find the imprint of this shape right here. I'll slide it over a little bit. You want to find the, the outline of this, my hands are in the way, sorry. The outline of this sh outer shape, um, let's call it the bezel, around the outer edge. And then you want to find the shape of the actual, the area that the um, the rod slides on. So we're going to just kind of press with our fingers and then take a pen or a pencil. The pencil will probably be better in this situation, but I don't have one right now. So I'm going to go ahead and trace this outline here. So our pen is working. It doesn't have to, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. You're going to, because you're going to still have to cut this out by hand. So we're going to trace around the edge. And you can fast forward if you want to skip through this, but this is the idea. Trace that out, and now we've got our outer edge. So I'll show you. So now we got the outer edge, and now we need to get this center part. Take our pen again, and you need to kind of work work with this here. You have to kind of press and just feel it out. But I can kind of feel there's a curve there. That's where the manual shift point is right there, that little gate for the manual shifting. So I'm kind of pressing. And this is, you know, if you get good at this, this is an art. This is not something anybody can just, just do. So if you don't feel up for it, that's great. But uh, the more you do of this kind of crafty stuff, Maybe you need to get your mom to help you. Your mom might be more crafty than you are. She can help you trace this out. <laughs> but you, um, I'm kind of picking up on the curves right here. So there's a curve right here on this edge, if you can see that. And we just go back over here. And it's kind of flat right here. So it goes here. And then it goes up to here. And now I'm just running the pen along the edge. Oops. Running along the edge. The trickiest part is actually getting these shift uh, indicator lights, um, like the, the letters. That outline is kind of hard to find, so we know this goes straight up here. You can kind of still feel it, and it curves back over, so I'm going around the edge. All right, so now we've got kind of a basic outline, and it's better to cut this a bit smaller at first. So if you are doing it, just you want to cut a bit smaller so that you can then go back and expand if you need to cut a little bit more. So this can be your template that you can start with, and then you can hang on to it. If you don't get it right the first time, you can you can do it later on. But right now, I'm feeling, I can feel there's like an oval right here. So I'm going to kind of, 
you want to kind of press on the pen and just mark that in. These ovals are not in a perfect, perfectly straight line, and they're also not perfectly, they're not exactly the same distance apart, so be careful of that. Don't, don't make assumptions. So there's one right Here. They're almost the same distance apart, but just don't make, don't assume that they are. And no matter what, this is not going to be perfect. This is not a CNC, you know, computer scanning type job. So there we are. I'm going to pull this off, and you can see it. You've got your little dog leg here for your manual shifting. And now we're going to take this and lay it over a piece of leather of some sort. Okay, so we've got our template here, and we've got a piece of this vinyl or leather, and um, I got this at a, a Michael's store, I believe. Um, I think there's depends on where you are in the country or where you are in the world. You might um, you might find something different, but this has just got a fabric backing. This is just inexpensive material, um, and it's vinyl. So what we're gonna do is take our template. Lay it over this area, and then what I'm going to do is mark a slightly larger outline of this because we're not actually going to have to take the console cover off, that center console cover. We just kind of want to make this a bit larger. We're actually going to slip it in underneath the edges of the that aluminum, or if you have that... Um, that wood trim. You're going to slip it underneath the edge around the shifter. So you're you're going to anyway. Okay. So we've got our template here, and we've got a piece of this vinyl or leather, and um, I got this at a, a Michael's store, I believe. Um, I think there's depends on where you are in the country or where you are in the world. You might um, you might find something different, but this has just got a fabric backing. This is just inexpensive material. Um, and it's vinyl. So what we're going to do is take our template, lay it over this area, and then what I'm going to do is mark a slightly larger outline of this because we're not actually going to have to take the console cover off, that center console cover. We just kind of want to make this a bit larger. We're actually going to slip it in underneath the edges of the that aluminum or if you have that um, that wood trim, you're going to slip it underneath the edge around the shifter. So you're you're going to anyway. So we go ahead and okay. So this may help you. I'm going to take this stapler and I'm going to staple the paper down to the leather that I'm working on. Okay, so once you've cut this center section out, you should be able to get it pretty close. You can go ahead and just remove this. And then what we're going to do is we need to kind of mark these oval shapes somehow. So what we're going to do is actually just make an imprint on the leather. So I'm just going to take a, um, yeah, basically you can just take a, a nail, something like that, so that you can kind of create an indent. So we take our nail, and that way we know where the center of each of these ovals should be, and just kind of do a single punch. And then what you're going to still do, of course, is use that soldering iron to create an oval shape. If you have a hole punch for leather working, and you can buy one from, um, you can buy them online, of course, you can buy them from, um, Harbor Freight has them too, then you can also use a hole punch right here, or even a tool, a uh, like a tap and die set, and um, and you can actually just pop um, a hole right through the the material right here. So last thing we're going to do is then cut the outline of this out. So the last thing I need to do these, and this is not going to look gorgeous the way I'm doing it. Obviously, there are strategies. If any of you are automotive upholsterers, which is a rare thing these days, if you have any better ideas, then definitely comment. Let me know because. 
you know, I always like to expand my horizons. Last thing we're gonna do is cut the outline of this out, and this can be a quick cut. We're actually gonna use hot glue to hold this onto the, um, the shifter area. So that way this is not a permanent thing. You can always just peel it off, remove it. Don't use like silicone or something like that. That's really messy. Just go ahead and use some hot glue. And that way, if you ever need to remove this, you can. But I just think this is a nice way to dress up if um, your shifter area, if it's really beaten up. So now, we should be, that should be pretty much it. Go ahead and remove this. You can see some areas I didn't get quite get through. Just kind of go gently. It's already been scored. That's why you need a sharp blade. Make this job a lot easier. And the good thing is this doesn't have to be pretty because you aren't going to see any of this. And there you go. Don't You don't want to pull on these little pieces right here. Let me see if I can show you. Don't pull that out. You want to do try to cut that because it's going to pull the backing and fray and not look good. So I'm going to do a nice little cut. See how it frayed a little bit? But well, we're gonna take the soldering iron and we can touch up some of these areas. Also, it'll help hold the material in place better. So now we can remove this. See, there's an area I didn't quite cut through and it's because the paper was bunching up in that area as I was cutting through, so. But around these curves, just go slow slow and steady. If you need to make a couple of cuts, you can score it the first time. That means just kind of do a, a light cut just to get the surface, um, the surface, and then make another cut or two to get through the backing. So now we are set. Now we can use our soldering iron to punch through these holes. Okay, we've got our soldering iron right here warmed up. We're gonna take our gonna take a bolt right here or something that has a circular aperture. We're gonna kind of center each one of these on it. And then you just wanna go right through the center. In and out like that. in and out and we can go back and clean up some of these edges with like a razor knife just gonna go with that through that this is oddly satisfying I don't know melting right through vinyl And you know what? This is an exercise in your, um, maybe some tendencies. <laughs> if these aren't as perfectly aligned as possible, you know what? This is, again, not a professional job. You're doing this DIY. Let's go ahead and do our last ones right here. Always wear safety gear. If you need to wear something to protect your breathing here, this is melting plastic. It's not great for you. But that's pretty much it. So there's our shift pattern cover. Let's go see how it fits. Okay, we're back in the car. So we take this. Oh no, we did it backwards. Just kidding. So we take this and yeah, everything looks like it fits in the right spot. Holes are in the right spot. And then all we need to do is you just kind of pry the edge of this up right here with a um, with a flathead gently and then you just want to start feeding it in under that edge just kind of slipping it in and it's gonna be hard at just right at first 
but the, you know, as you work your way around, you'll be able to slip all of it in. So right here on the side, you can see it goes in pretty easily. Saw build quality, nice and tight on one side and loose on and uh, <laughs> open on the other side. But anyway, you just feed it in around, and then what I did was um, put just a little bit of hot glue around the edges just to kind of keep it from peeling up a little bit with use. But yeah, I just slipped this under the edge. Um, yeah, if you want to comment with the word leather shift cover, um, maybe we can work something out where I mail this to one of you guys. Um, just let me know. But anyway, that's how I made this. I think it's a nice upgrade. Um, it's definitely an improvement over the nasty peeling paint. Um, but yeah, if you want to comment and subscribe, that'd be great. If you guys would like me to post the silhouette of this piece, uh, in case you don't want to try to trace it out yourselves, um, I will take a picture of this piece and scan it and post it on Google Drive with a link. So if you guys want to download this, um, you can print it out on a piece of paper and then um, basically cut it to fit so you don't have to do the whole tracing thing. Um, let me know in the comments if you want me to do that.